So I think this is a great question because I do think that guys should be very skeptical all the time of the content that they watch online, especially for those who want to go and work with a dating coach or, you know, that their dating lives just aren't great and they need some kind of proof to show them what is possible if they put the effort into things. Now, I can't speak for coaches internationally, especially ones that I haven't worked with abroad, but I can honestly say for every coach that I've worked with in London, the thousands and upon thousands of approaches over the last 10, 12 years, they are in fact all real. And I'm going to take the opportunity, I think, in this video to debunk really why it's not worth the drama for coaches to fake their infields. So I think for me, one of the things that I absolutely love with filming with coaches is uh, especially very genuine and authentic conversations with people that you meet from the street is the fact that it just shows people what is truly possible if you work on your social skills. Now, guys, when they watch the infields, they forget that these coaches have put a lot of time and effort into talking to strangers more so than anyone else can probably imagine. You know, when you've got coaches that are spending literally 10, 12 hours on the street and it is their job to talk to strangers, you know, they most certainly become very desensitized uh, to the experience of that spotlight effect or, you know, being in public and people watching them. And they get to this point where they feel very zen, very grounded and of course they are just in flow state all the time and it's very difficult for people to grasp what flow state is if they haven't experienced it themselves so what happens when you are in flow state all the time well I mean you get to a point where conversations are effortless that level of confidence and self-actualization is at its peak and of course the conversations uh, that you have with women the attraction is high, the flirtation is high, the confidence is high. And so the conversations that you do see captured on camera, um, they are all genuine. They are all authentic. And, you know, and even for me, after all these years, you know, I will still come across um, approaches that like my clients will end up having and I'll still be blown away, you know, and every kind of limiting belief that even I get over the years of seeing what is possible and what isn't possible in interactions always gets shattered. And, and I love that. I love the fact that I am always kept on my toes with every approach that I have filmed during my time of working with coaches and I always kind of like uh, or hope that that ripples into the content that I produce with people and that when then guys who aren't very confident or they don't have any uh, or they have a lot of anxiety and they're not very confident, when they are watching the videos, they do at least feel some level of inspiration that if they can just dedicate some time and effort into working on their social skills, then there is no reason whatsoever that they can't have the same amazing whirlwind romance experiences that the coaches have as well. But one of the things though that I think guys need to bear in mind, especially if they're watching these videos, is just how ridiculously expensive it would be if the dating coaches were just constantly hiring uh, actresses for each of their videos. So I've been very fortunate with my job that, you know, I've worked with a lot of people outside of the dating industry. And I've also um, had clients who do a lot of work with celebrities as well. So I always get some insight into, you know, how like the acting scene works and even just, uh, you know, again, other areas of other industries. But I get the opportunity to ask questions that people don't get to ask. And some of which have been based around like, well, when it comes to hiring actresses, you know, what's usually the standard rate for, for pay for them? And the thing is, is that uh, a lot of actresses, even if you were to hire them for a couple of minutes, they still want like either an hour pay or a half a day pay or even a full day pay. And if you imagine you've got a dating coach who's hired me for a day to go out and do filming with them, if they then also hired 
these actresses. And normally I tend to film like easily at very least a dozen uh, approaches in an afternoon or around like 20 or 30 if I'm hired for a full day. That would be ridiculously expensive for a coach to be paying out that kind of money. And even if as time goes on, those videos become successful and they do start making money back as guys start, you know, coming forward to work with the coach, it still wouldn't be worth their time or money because they'd have to still go out and get more in fields to carry on bringing in more viewers and also more clients. So there'd be way more money going out than what would be coming in. So yeah, it's not really worth their time or effort when all they would have to do is just go up, talk to a stranger, have a conversation, wherever it goes is wherever it goes. And then they've got the content and that wouldn't cost them a penny except for just what they're paying me to actually film them. So it's not worth the time of day or effort and certainly return of investment wise for coaches to be hiring uh, girls um, for their videos. Now, again, I can't speak for internationally, but yeah, again, for in London, every single approach that I have filmed, uh, at least to my awareness, unless a coach has done it very secretly, um, but to my awareness, every single approach that I have filmed has all been real. There's been no, I've never heard any discussion of like, like, oh yeah, so I'm going to do this. I'm going to come in and talk to you in this way. Can you make sure you give me a number and stuff? Uh, you know, coaches kind of uh, might forget a lot of the time that like, I can hear them through their microphone, especially if they accidentally go to the toilet and they forget that they are wearing a microphone and they're giving themselves some like motivational speech uh, as they're uh, they're doing a number one. But um, uh, no, every approach that at least I have filmed is 100% real. And in fact, it kind of reminds me of a story as well, or not, not so much a story, but a coach uh, back in, must have been like 2014 or 2015. He went by the name uh, Daniel Blake. And he got himself infamously known on YouTube as the guy who was able to get like same day lays. And that was his coaching program. And as rightly so, every guy should be very skeptical of incredibly far-fetched um, results. And this is something that, yeah, definitely guys should be very skeptical about when they are watching content. If you've got coaches who are claiming the most mind-blowing results all the time. There's usually some like um, secret or or cogs going on behind the curtain. I know there's a better term for that. I can't think what it is, but um, you know, a bit, maybe it's a bit like the Wizard of Oz thing. Like, like there is some like, uh, uh, you think it's magic out front, but actually, you know, there are uh, cogs and wheels going on behind the scenes. And, um, uh, go, going back to the story with this guy, he would claim like he would be able to teach guys how to have same day lays. And everyone was very, very like skeptical of it. And and the thing was, is he had a cameraman who was doing his own thing. It wasn't being involved in this and um, who'd be able to film this content. And then there would be the most sleaziest thing also in the same video where this guy, Daniel, would then have the girls back at his. But one of the things that I absolutely love as well with, I think, the dating community is just they are really on the ball with, you know, seeing or, or being very vigilant of if someone is being really truthful or not. And if they're not, that they get completely exiled or extradited from the industry. And again, this is also why, like, it's not worth the coach's drama to fake their infields with it being either expensive or the fact that if they get caught out they are just instantly their business is just wiped completely um but this guy daniel he'd uh he'd had he was caught out once because or the end of his career was because he had filmed himself uh, or, or his cameraman had filmed him uh doing an approach in a park and he was chatting, he got chatting to a girl who was laying down um, and they'd had like an instant date thing. Uh, I think he kind of had romanced her. I think they'd made out, I'm not sure, but he'd sort of then swayed her to come back to his. And then there was like the next part of the uh, the video was like, um, like a shot from like the laptop camera 
um, and then uh, they come into the lounge, they sit on the couch, um, and then they start talking and then a couple of minutes later she's sitting on his lap and they're making out you know it, like something you'd probably expect in like a porn video or something um and um he got called out because the way in how the girl was dressed now in the park she'd had like this sort of like uh exposed shoulder dress thing that she was wearing but she was wearing like i think like a like a white bra um, that you could see very clearly uh, in the video. But then back at his, when they were making out, it was like a completely different coloured bra strap. And of course, the community then were like up in arms. And it was it was brilliant because they were up in arms and they were like, why is she wearing, you know, if this is meant to be, you know, straight from the park to yours, why is her, her bra one colour and then it's now another colour? And he couldn't, like disprove it or anything and he got completely exiled from the industry and it was so good because he was charging a fortune for guys to teach them um how to get the uh the the, the whole same day thing and yet guys who were working with him and this was also what was going around as well which added to the skepticism that guys were doing the coaching with him and they just weren't getting anywhere close to the results. And then he would gaslight his clients into saying uh, like, oh, well, that's not my fault. That's you. You need to just keep on practicing more. Whereas in his marketing, it was a lot of like, I, you will learn literally how to do it and you will get that result on the same weekend of learning with me. And no one was getting the results. Um, and, uh, you know, and I, and I hate that kind of marketing anyway, this kind of like law of attraction thing of like, oh, well, it's your problem. If you're not getting the results, you need to pay more money to get more training in and then, and then you'll do it. Uh, whereas it's not, it's just not realistic at all. But point being is that it, it was so good that the community were able to pick up on the fact that, you know, the claims that the coach had were just too far out there. They weren't realistic and he just couldn't prove properly that what he was doing was being truthful. And as soon as people caught uh, caught wind with that video, they instantly disbelieved every other video that he'd made because then they just thought, well, if, if he faked this one, then who's to say that he didn't fake any of the others as well? So our pick up videos real well I would say yes any single video that I have filmed uh, have all been very genuine they've all been authentic and simply because I want to show guys what is possible if they put the effort into their socializing and practicing cold approaching and working on improving themselves and reaching self-actualization uh, again I can't speak for coaches abroad or internationally uh, I don't know how they run their businesses, but I do think, though, it is so important that every coach put out videos that are truthful, because how can guys prove to themselves that if they put that effort into themselves, that they can get such amazing results? Most guys want a girlfriend and if they don't believe that working on their confidence or just practicing talking to people is going to take them one step closer to getting that result, then they're just going to give up and they're just going to accept their own reality and their limiting beliefs that there's that there's no point even trying, that if they're shy and anxious, then that's it. They, they should just accept that and uh, and not work on themselves in any sort of way. So if you're a coach... Please don't fake any of your videos. Try and make sure that they are very genuine and authentic as possible. Uh, if you're going to be a coach, make sure that you aren't going to fake your videos because I can assure you your uh, your dating coach career is going to be very short-lived otherwise. And for guys who are watching videos of coaches, absolutely always be very skeptical, but just understand as well that if coaches are putting out content, showing the interactions that they're having, and as well in parallel to that, they are actually showing the results of their clients, maybe even showing like client transformations, because those are the ones that I think guys will always resonate with more rather than a coach, then 
be rest assured that there is probably a very, very high chance, 99.9% .9 of the time, they are saying, they are who they say they are. And there is no reason why if you work with that coach, why you can't get as amazing results with them. Or if you do decide to actually work on your date in life yourself, there's no reason why you can't get such amazing results too, uh, especially three months, six months down the line. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this video. Have there actually been any coaches over the years that you have watched and then it's turned out that their infields were fake? Because I'm I'm so curious to know what coaches, perhaps maybe ones that I've never heard of or ones that I have heard of that I wasn't aware that maybe they did actually fake their infields, then um, I would love to know. So do put them in the comments below and maybe even a video or two if there are uh, any expose videos of them. I find them absolutely fascinating. Um, and of course, if you can, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. I kind of like the idea of also doing some of these like debunking videos. So maybe actually, if you can include below um, any, uh, any sort of myths or things that you want me to debunk in the dating industry that you'd be curious about as well. That could be quite cool. But other than that, I've been Dan, that dating anxiety guy. And as always, I really appreciate you watching my videos. And of course, if there's anything that you want me to make, just let me know. But till then, thanks for watching.